Hello, hello, good evening. Oh, hey Joanna, hey Lisa. I think you guys beat me to it. Um, thank you so much for joining me this evening, or if you're catching up on the replay, then thank you so much for joining whenever you are hopping on. My name's Heather. Um, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Fairham in the United Kingdom, uh, otherwise known as the Songbird Stamper. And I normally come live eight o'clock on a Thursday night, as long as I'm not working. And I've just finished work for the week. I work 12 hour shifts, so I've done my four, four 12 hour shifts this week and I'm all done. And it's been one of those weeks. So I'm really grateful to be here with you this evening for a little spot of chill out crafting. Although if you saw the state of my room, and there's nothing chill about my room right now. It's an absolute bomb. It looks like a bomb's hit it. It's an absolute tip. Um, but yep, yeah, I'm here. My desk is tidy. I've just posted about it in my um, VIP group. So come on over if you want to join the Songbird's Nest. Um, yeah, I've put some photos up about um, my, my room and my two desks. Tidy desk, messy desk. Anyway, yeah, while you all join on. Hey, Claire, nice to see you this evening. I've got um, this stamp set out again. Oh, I love this stamp set. It's getting a great deal of use. It's actually an online exclusive, so no idea how long it's going to be around for. Um, so if you do like this one, I would suggest grabbing it because we really don't know. Could be around for a few more days, could be around for a few more months. Don't know. Hey, Louise, uh, nice to see you this evening. And I've got these set of dies, which you may or may not have seen in the back of the catalogue. I know, Joanna, it's just, I don't know how it gets like it. I really don't. But it will be tidy as soon as I get around to tidy. Get everything has a place, it just all comes out of its place fairly, fairly regularly <laughs> and all over my desk, all over the floor. So, yeah, it's all got to go back. And that's tonight's job after I finish live with you guys because I've got a class in the morning. And there's this one which I'm using today with the leaves. And then there's this one which I haven't actually even taken off the packet yet. Um, I love this one, but I need to spend a little bit more time trying to figure it out. This one. It just spoke to me. So we're going to make a card. We're going to make a 7x5 card today, which is a little bit unusual. And we're going to be doing, surprise, surprise, some watercolouring. I'm a bit, I'm doing the watercolour course. Um, starts on the 11th. Bookings are still open if you want to come join us. The link is below. Um, but yeah, because I'm kind of focused on that at the moment and creating the content for that, and cards are made. I've just got to write the rest of the course guide for lesson one. Uh, I'm a bit all into my watercolouring. So I thought I'd grab this out um, have a play. I actually made a card already. Um, so I'm doing one that I've already shown on social media. You may or may not have seen it, but I thought I'd run you through how to make it. And I gave it away to somebody. Um, so I don't even have it here for me to kind of work with. Colour wise, we are going for lemon lime twist, azure afternoon, bubble bath, berry burst, and garden green. So quite a lot of new colours here. Berry burst, lemon lime twist, they're returning, um, but kind of new to our colour lineup for a lot of people. Um, come on, camera. Here we go. Azure afternoon and bubble bath are new colours. So I'm um, wasn't purposeful. Just these ones are the ones that kind of spoke to me. So I grabbed them out and then just a little dab of um, garden green. So I'm using the reinkers. You can watercolour using ink pads and reinkers. Um, different reasons for doing different things. But yeah, I'm going for, for reinkers today. So I've got myself a block. Um, again, there's a million ways that you can do this, but this is the way I'm doing it today. I grab myself a little block um, and I'm going to use that as kind of a palette. So I'm going to show you, I've got Fluid 100 watercolour cardstock, that's that one from Stamping Up, and I've got a couple of sheets, it's quite water, I'm not going to lie, it's a bit watercolour cardstock heavy this card, but it's, it's worth it, I think it's worth it. And I've cut a card base, because I said we're going to do a 7.5, a 7x5 card, which is a bit bigger than normal, I'm hoping my camera battery lasts out, the duration. Um, so I cut my cardstock to 10 inches by 7 inches and scored it in half at 5. Won't even fit on this on the screen here, look, it's so big. Um, and that creates you a 7 by 5 inch card. And then I've cut this one to 6 and 3 quarters by 4 and 3 quarters. This is watercolour cardstock. And what we're going to do is use this as a... Um, it doesn't cut out. Can you see the edges? So here, like here, there's no um, cutting blade. So the cutting ridge 
is this ridge here and it comes all the way around here around this leaf that's the cutting ridge but there's no cutting ridge on the outside so it's going to cut into the cardstock which might take a couple of people by surprise so don't be surprised if you see my video you won't be um it's going to cut into this little piece of cardstock here so i'll grab the cutting box machine What have you all been up to this weekend, or this week? Everybody working? It's horrible working when it's so nice, isn't it? Um, but it has been half term, so I imagine a few people have been off. Um, I actually don't mind working when it's half term. Um, and it means I'm on nights next week when all the kids are back at school. So I'm just lining that up really carefully, and then that's going to run straight through the cutting emboss machine. When you've got dies that, um, oh, when you've got dies that have got kind of a big square edge on them, it's best to go at an angle through. Oh, shall I show you? It's best to go at an angle through the die cut machine, so you're not going straight on. Although it's like a train track, it's like a roller that the rollers have got to get over. It's like a hump, and it struggles. The rollers of the machine can struggle, so you're better off. Kind of going through and popping it through at an angle and then the roller hits this corner and kind of jumps easier through there but this is just spinning around all over the place i'm struggling to line this up actually it doesn't help that my plate is really quite warped so let's try again Kind of gone through straight, kind of, kind of not, and then I might just roll it through one more time just to get a really clean cut on it. It's really easy to roll through again because um, it's got deep grooves, so the die just slips in. That's cut lovely. And then it's just a case of taking all these bits out. It has actually jumped ever so slightly when it went through the second time round. That's okay. This is the most laborious bit. There is actually a, um, if you've got one of these little, hey Judy, nice to see you. How are you keeping? Long time no see. But I've lost my brush. So you'd have a brush and you would just brush all these bits out. But I'm just going to do it over the bin. And do it with my fingers. If things go a little bit wrong tonight, it's probably because I've been at work since um what time did I get to work? Six o'clock this morning. So I was up at quarter past five. It's far too early for me. I know some people do that every day, but genuinely I do not. I am not an early bird. Um I only do it when I have to go to work. Um and I don't think I could do that every day. It's too early, it's far too early. Okay, we're about there. This is a bit boring for you. I probably should have done one ahead of time and go like, here's one I made earlier. So, 
just a couple of last minute little bits to pop out. Oh, hey, Louise. Nice to see you. Yeah, can you see these tiny little bits that I'm pulling off? That's actually where it just jumped um, in the die cut machine because I should, I probably should have taped it down, but I was being lazy. So I, I didn't. But you can take more time. And the problem is I haven't saved any time. I've actually made... I've made it worse. It would have been quicker just to tape it, but okay. So that's basically our background. And I'm just going to do some painting. I'm, I'm, I need to paint something. So we'll come back to kind of, we'll make the rest of it later. Do some more cutting and all the rest of it. I'm going to bring in some grid paper, just some scrap grid paper. Hey, Shells, nice to see you this evening. How are you doing? Feels like a long time since I've seen some of you. I know I've not seen you now. Look, I've got instructions and all sorts written all over these bits of grid paper. Let's go, let's go like this. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do is grab my water painters. Now in your set of water painters from Stampin' Up, you get three water paints and one's got this lovely thick brush, which we're gonna use shortly. And then um, the other two are a medium tip and a fine tip. So that's the kind of medium tip. Come on, camera. It's not doing it, is it? There we go. Medium tip and the really little titchy tip. So a really nice set of brushes, lots and lots of options. I'm going to go for the medium tip, but I am going to use some water. Um, if I was travelling on the road, I love the water painters because you don't have to have water. It holds water in this barrel, but um, look, I've still got more bits to pop out. But um, you can actually just use a cup of water as well. So I've got a cup of water next to me. I've got my block where I'm going to pop some ink and I'm going to pop kind of a blob of lemon lime twist and a blob of um, garden green, but we don't need as much garden green because it's quite a dark color. There we go, so just a dob of garden green. And then all I'm gonna do is wet the cardstock and I'm painting the leaves, but not the border. And I'm kind of going to do it in sections. So I'm just doing this top section and then I'm going to pick up some ink and then just kind of dab that on. And it's like leaves have got, what do they call it? A, um, a variegated effect. Because then when we pick up some of that garden green and just randomly dot some garden green at the base of the leaves, we just get a really beautiful um variegated effect on those leaves oh you've been up my way ah oh, shaz just give me a shout if you come up we probably haven't got time if you're taking your um son to hospital but that would be quite cool to meet up wouldn't it hopefully he's okay and again just grab some of that um and just do it kind of section by section grab some of that uh green and you can go back over those top sections there's no rules with watercoloring. It's a lovely medium to work with. You can just play with it to your heart's content. Make it as dark or as light as you want just by changing the amount of water. And again, just grab some of that. I'm not being precise, and I love this kind of loose, messy effect that you get. Yeah, I do. Send me a message, Shaz. Absolutely. I never know what I'm kind of doing with my shift. I do, I know in advance, but they're definitely not regular. So I wouldn't be able to kind of tell you unless you had a date, obviously. I've got my I've got my shifts. I'm quite lucky. I know my shifts like a years in advance. So somebody asked me like last year, uh, last week, what am I doing next year? And I was like, yeah, no worries. Let me just grab my calendar. I've got all my shifts in the diary, which is great. And we're just working our way down this piece of cardstock. 
If you missed the beginning and you're only just hopping on, I can see some numbers increasing. You actually didn't miss much. All you missed was me messing up the die cutting slightly. Um, so, yeah, the, you've joined for the best bit. I'm not going to lie. This is a lemon lime twist with a hint of garden green that we're using. I'm trying to use the wet in wet technique for a little bit of watercolour in. Yeah, I'm really lucky because it's just a six week rolling cycle. So it just goes round and round in circles. And when I used to work for the shop, it was awful. Uh, we never used to get our shifts for the week ahead until the Wednesday. Um, I was like, how can anyone plan a life? Certainly the youngsters who actually had lives. Um, it was really difficult. And then they used to go off sick and the management used to wonder why. It's like, well, because they've made plans. You haven't given them their shifts in time, so... Yes, I love knowing, knowing what I'm doing in advance. And that, once you take it away, and we'll leave that to dry. Um, let me see what I can put that on. Just pop it on there for now. That's our background. And again, you can go back in if you want more. You think, oh, I want that a bit brighter. You can go back in and add more of that lemon lime twist. Ah, no worries, Judy. Move went well getting there, still sorting things out, but joined a couple of card get -togethers. Oh, I'm so pleased you've joined a couple of card get togethers. I did see your post, so that's really made me happy. It's good to good to get out and make friends, I think, isn't it? Um, certainly who have got the same hobbies as us. Oh, hey, Amy. Nice to see you. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. It's the gar gorgeous garden dies, that one. Again, if you're joining on a little bit later, the gorgeous garden dies. And that's the, that's the die. And then we've just literally cut it out of watercolour cardstock. And then we are um, currently waiting for that to dry. I'm going to try not to get it everywhere. But that's that. And then what we need to do is cut a piece of card. I don't really know where to put it. Put it there. We need to pick, cut another piece of watercolour cardstock, and it needs to be um, just bigger than the die itself. Okay, so we'll cut that. And the, the desk, the desk in front of me that I'm crafting on is relatively clear. The desk to my right hand side absolutely looks like a bomb has hit it. Um, it's a disaster zone. So everything's getting thrown over there at the moment. And I need to sort that out when I come off the live here. So I'm just cutting this. Yeah, it's quite intensive on the watercolour card. It's not this card, but I, I think it's worth it. Okay, and what we're going to do is watercolour this. Now, you could absolutely not watercolour this if you thought, actually, I don't want to use that much watercolour cardstock. I just want to put um, some card coloured cardstock behind here. You absolutely could. Um, or you could sponge an, a light background and put it behind. I just really love the azure afternoon, but it looks... I'll get the piece of cardstock for you, actually, just so that you can see the difference, because we're going to water this down and it creates this gorgeous gorgeous pale blue background so this is the colored cardstock and it's lovely it's a gorgeous card oh thanks karen um, and it, it looks lovely, but it's just, it was a bit bright. So I've decided to try and mute it down a little bit. And I'm going to do that using the water. So I remember I said to you on your brushes, you've got three different size brushes. We're going to use just plain water. This is, it's relatively clear. You want, you do want it clean. Um, this is relatively clean. I ought to bring back in my messy grid paper. And... And let's bring in that piece. This has already got blue on it, so I don't mind using this one. And my um, palette, which I'm using, this acrylic block. And I'm just going to grab my brush and I'm going to wet the cardstock. Okay. 
And then I've got water on my brush. I'm just going to dilute some of this ink. And then I'm just painting this background. And then this is going to give us, can you see how much, uh, I mean, it's it's um, even lighter on camera actually, but I can go a little bit darker. And it just gives you that real kind of muted effect. Water your brush again. Try not to put ink directly onto the cardstock with this kind of technique. You could do it ombre if you wanted, but I wanted a uniform colour. And we're just going to put some colour down. And you can go back in and add more to get it the right colour that you want. And you just keep brushing back and forth, kind of blending all that in. And I thought it looked a bit like sky which is one of the reasons I wanted it in the background of my um, leaves. But nature inspired. But the wide brush, doesn't that make a difference? Lovely, isn't it, Joanna? Gorgeous, gorgeous. So that's our background. It doesn't matter if it's teeny, teeny, teeny bit streaky. It's all going to go. It's all going to come good. Uh, and we need to leave that one to dry now as well. Like there's like different kind of arguments for and not arguments for and against. Oh look, I've just managed to get ink on there. I'm a mess. I'm a messy crafter. Um, there's different like times you would leave things to air dry and times you would heat dry them. But I am going to let those air dry, and then you can just wash this off the acrylic block. I use I'm using a tissue. But you could just. Use some water, wash that off. Look, I'm exhausted. Everything's get everything gets wrong when I'm tired. <laughs> it's my other half, you see. When I work nights, I would like to go to bed at um, nine, but he doesn't get tired, and so we end up going to bed about eleven, half eleven still. And I'm like, oh, I have to be up at half five. Okay. So now we've got some flowers and some leaves to do. So we need more watercolour cardstock. I told you it was watercolour cardstock intensive today. So, um, you know, you kind of want to make sure you've got some fluid 100 watercolour cardstock. This is a 100% um, cotton cardstock, which is good quality. And what we're going to do, let's get rid of the die cut machine, because I think I'm done die cutting for now. I need some heat embossing. I am, I am hoping, I should have asked you at the beginning, I am hoping that my um, sound is okay. I've got a new um, microphone and I have no idea what I'm doing with it. So please do give me a shout if um, there's a problem or, or tell me, give me some reassurance and tell me that the sound is okay. I'd be much appreciated. It would be much appreciated. Irresistible Blooms stamp set. I'm gonna grab the small one, the big one and both leaves. And we are going to stamp. Sound is perfect. Ah, that's amazing. Thank you, guys. Um, I've had a couple of videos. If you're watching me because you've watched one of my videos on YouTube, um, I made a bit of a boo-boo, a snafu, and posted a video without editing it. And the sound was awful. So I've had quite a lot of comments. Thank you for letting me know because it helped me. I managed to fix a problem on my um, camera, but then I also bought a microphone as well before I realised it was actually a camera, it was a camera issue. But there we go. So I'll fix that. Um, and everyone tells me my computer microphone is terrible, which it is. So I've got Versamark, Versamark stamp pad. Um, and I'm just going to stamp one small flower, one big flower. So I'm hoping this microphone make a difference. Ah, uh, hey, Julie. Thank you. Honestly, I really appreciate it. Um, it's good to know things are working or not working um, because you can't fix it if you don't know it's broken. And I'm going to put some leaves. How many? One, two, two of each, maybe? I don't know. And I can't see anything, right? Um, when you use Versamark, it's a clear ink that you can't see. So I have a tip for you. If you kind of get so far and then you've got distracted and you think, oh, I don't know where I've stamped, what you need to do is just grab your cardstock.
I'm playing with fire, doing this dangerously. But can you now see? You can see where you've inked. You can see which has got. Yeah, so I can now go back in with that and keep stamping because I can now see. So I know I've got one there. And then I can do a couple of these little leaves. And I have got a spoon. Hey, Cheryl. Nice to see you. Thank you, everybody, for hopping on. This sunny, gorgeously sunny Thursday evening in the United Kingdom. But I know I've got people joining from all over the world, so thank you, thank you. Look, get my spoon out. This would make life easier. And my um, embossing powder has got bits in it because I dropped it all over the floor. I'm really clumsy. Look, stuff happens. So can you see there? Beautiful, beautiful images all ready to go. I think that's enough. Maybe we do one more. One, two, no, I think that's enough. Four leaves, two flowers. Florida, Florida in the United Kingdom. Oh, sorry, Florida in the, I told you I'm shattered. Florida in the USA. Oh, I like Florida. I haven't been very much, but I've been twice, I think. Family holiday when I was younger. Um, and then, I think that's it actually, One family for one family holiday. I think I need to come again. Yes, it's lovely, Lisa. So bear with me two seconds just while I pop the, um, I can't mute this, but while I pop the, embossing a new just heat gun i'm hoping this isn't too loud i'm hoping the microphone might have like a, a cut out of background noise that would be cool i know some do so i'm just going to heat heat this and melt this powder Emma, isn't that amazing? You can, you can hardly, you, it, yours does it as well. You can hear your voice, but it's like the heat tool is silent, which is great because my air conditioning units are quite noisy and I'm hoping it's going to block those out too. No, I'm so pleased. I've been thinking about getting a microphone for ages and just been, one of those things I've been putting off and putting off. Um, so yeah. Good, good decision, I think. Okay, so now we're going to watercolour these as well. And I've got colours wise, berry burst and oh, berry burst and bubble bath. Yum. This is like I want to eat you colour. So actually it was way too much. I only needed one teeny, teeny, teeny drop of berry burst. It's really vibrant. And bubble bath. We need a little bit more of this one because it's a nice pale colour. So we're going to give ourselves a little bit of that one. And I've got my brush. Again, I'm going to water this. And this is now, it, it's a really loose watercolour technique. If you were watercolouring properly, like artistry, you'd do petal by petal because you would want control over where the colours go, like if you were doing a realistic. But I'm just going to, I'm going wild. So that's the berry burst, which you can kind of barely see, but it's really beautiful pink. Actually, that's too much, just a bit too much water. So I'm going to go do this one now while that dries and soaks in just a little bit. Because you don't want it floody, floody. Okay, so gorgeous, gorgeous pink. And then you pick up a tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny bit of berry burst. And you're just going to Can you see that just wicking away where the water is in the center? I love it. I love doing this. It's very therapeutic. Um, I don't know if I've got enough water on this one. So 
So we'll go in for a little bit more water and then you can just gorgeous and that's it i think go wild i know go wild absolutely wild i'm crazy joanna always been called it for different re for different reasons so that's plenty see how we really didn't need much of that berry burst and you get a slightly different effect depending on how much water is on there i like the two of those but yeah it is it is like magic isn't it love that so then we need some I probably should have left the other colours on there then because we need the same colours as last time, which is a little bit of um, lemon lime twist and a little bit of garden green. So if you love this watercolour technique, it's one of the, the, the three basic watercolour techniques that I teach as well as loads of advanced watercolour techniques in my watercolour course so yeah if you think oh do you know what? I really like that and I, but I don't know what I'm doing I'd like to learn more and um, there's a link in the description below to find out more you'd be more than welcome to join worldwide it's available online just four classes um, and you get a comprehensive course guide and the cost is 70 pounds so um, I've done kind of all the work of collating all the techniques together, put them in one big course for you, and we're going to have we are going to have some fun. That's for sure. So again, I'm tired and I'm being clumsy, and I've just gone over the lines a little bit, but I'm really not overly bothered. So I've just gone wet, and I'm just popping some of this lemon lime twist in. Colour over the embossed areas as well. Don't don't shy away. From colouring over those embossed areas. If you've got this leaf, you'll know that two of these leaves are open and one's closed. And here, one of these leaves is open and one's closed. And then grab some garden green and just add that in. It looks a little bit dark there, that's okay. You can always go in and lighten it up. And then you can even go in and take some of that away as well, just to give you the exact effect you want. And it always dries different. It's one of the things I like about quite a lot of kind of artwork is watching the effects that dry. Alcohol inks are great for that. Not markers, but alcohol inks. Watching them as they dry. Yeah, we really we need to dilute that garden green a little bit because it's really really bright and vibrant and we just want to add a little bit in there oh me too joanna i can't believe it's like literally next not this weekend but next we start i'm super excited to get going it's um kind of a, a long time in the planning a long time in the making and um finally we get to get going So again, honestly, it doesn't matter. I've gone way over the lines. I'm just trying to rectify it, but it doesn't matter. This is such a loose technique and a loose looking card that it's going to look super cool. I think we can be worried too much when we paint. We just need to, need to let go a little bit. So now we're going to wait for those to dry. So it's really just a case of doing all the, bit, all the different elements um, and then putting it all together. Yes, first time I've run this one for sure. Yep, I was um, had a few people ask um, when we did the blends course. I've done five blends courses now, and um, all have been really well um, attended. And um, I was asked a couple of times by a couple of people if I could do a watercolor course, and I was like, you know what? Yeah, I will. Um, I love watercoloring, so yeah, that's kind of where it came from. So we've got our leafy background. If you have joined us in the kind of last while well, I've just been painting those flowers. You won't have seen these. And then this is the azure afternoon painted background again, watercolored, watercolored. Yeah, you're gonna be in the first course. Come on, you won't be my guinea pig. I'm pretty sure and I, I know what I'm I'm doing. But yeah, you're gonna be my guinea pig, Joanna. And then that's gonna go straight on top of that one. And I just love that look. And you can go as light or as dark as you want. But look how different that is too 
the Azure Afternoon cardstock. It's just that much lighter. And I really like that effect. But yeah, if you didn't want to, you could absolutely, yeah, it's really spring-like. You could absolutely go for the Azure Afternoon cardstock if you couldn't be bothered with this or you like that darker effect or you don't want to use as much watercolour cardstock. So you've got plenty of options. So all I'm going to do is turn this over and I'm going to glue on the back. So I'm going to put a real thin line of glue all the way around here. And then I'm just dabbing dots. A lot of people struggle with liquid glue. And um, when I watch people using the glue, one of the big problems is that they hold the nozzle away from the paper and squeeze and get too much out. So I actually just squeeze and keep the nozzle in contact with the paper. And that stops too much glue coming out of the end. And that's why you can hear me actively hitting it against the, the cardstock there. So then you need to make sure you turn this over, right? You do not want to stick this this way up because it would look rubbish on the other side. So just make sure you turn this over and then you can line it up. Doesn't matter as long as it fits on all four, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Give that a good squidgy down and then that's your background. I love, I love, I love. And then that's going to be layered onto bubble bath cardstock. That spring like pink. Real pink. Somebody said to me the other day, isn't bubble bath the pink that we've all been dreaming of? I per I personally think it is. I th I have absolutely been waiting for a pink like this. I know somebody said it's got blue undertones and it has. Um, but I think it's it's so beautiful. And the blue undertones means that it works really well with purples as well. Oh, Judy, my absolute pleasure. Yeah, so look when I do this and I spin this around and I want glue, I'm literally just keeping the nozzle in contact with the paper and it stops too much, it stops too much glue from coming out because the glue literally can't come out because the nozzle is, is in contact with the paper and blocking it rather than holding it above and squeezing and look how much comes out. So, yeah. Oh, bubble bath and lemon lolly. Do you know, I was really sad when we knew that, um, which is surprising because I didn't actually like it, but so Saffron was um, retiring. And I didn't at that point um, know, I don't think that the uh, lemon lolly was coming in place. And I was like, oh, what are we going to do without a pale yellow? But yeah, they nailed it, didn't they? Absolutely nailed it. So there is my, this is where I went wrong with the die cutting earlier and it's really going to wind me up, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to, no, don't play with it, Heather, you'll make it worse. Uh, so <laughs> thank you, Shaz. So that is that bit. And then what we're going to do is die cut, um, sorry, cut our leaves and flowers. So you can see I've smudged and gone over the lines, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not fussed doesn't matter it's going to make a beautiful card because we're going to cut these bits up my fingers are sticky i managed to get glue on my fingers i think there are dies for this so you could use the dies um i'm going to fussy cut them surprise surprise I actually, um, do you know what, I'm, I'm not actually a massive fan of die cutting. I mean, it's it's absolutely got its place. Um, but if I can fussy cut, I will. Um, and I don't normally like builder dies. I, my other half is working tonight and um, he's in the office. And if, he must be at home thinking, I'm going to have to come home soon. And it's too hot. So I could, I've just had him put the air conditioning on remotely on his phone. Naughty boy. <laughs> I'm like no you're at work I'm in control of the heating but no he's got the app on his phone I have not he's not let me have the app anyway where was where was I I've totally lost my train of thought by the air conditioning coming on 
yeah so a die cutting um i normally don't like builder dies um where you kind of got all the little bits and bobs and you've got to die cut them all out and then put them all together but um i'm in love with the paper florist dies i, I absolutely loved using them the other day and i think it's because you can cut so many at once you haven't got to sit there and run all the bits through separately yeah I, i've had a whale of time with those dies I know, Joanna, bless him. I know. I thought, you know, I'm not using any electricity, it'd be fine. <laughs> but no, he's sat at work going, it's too hot in that house. Let me turn the aircon on. I must say, it did make a big deal. We went out and did some gardening the other day, and it was really hot outside. And when we came in, because we'd had the um, aircon on free, because we got the solar panels. So because we'd had the aircon on, it was lovely and cool in the house. And actually, I thought, yeah, that's really nice. And to know that we've not paid anything for it, we've not used any kind of um, fossil fuels or anything. It's literally just we've created the sun, um, the energy from the sun. We've put it in a battery. Um, we've well, not even putting it in the battery at that time. We've literally were just direct converting it into cooling. So we've taken the heating. Isn't that isn't that amazing technology? We took the heat from the sun and turned it into cooling. I don't know if I can wrap my head around that actually. Okay. Okay. Mess, didn't it? On the cardstock where I had all those smudges and I've gone over the lines and but you've cut them out it really doesn't matter it really doesn't matter at all it is amazing isn't it technology the advances in technology let's just hope we can put them to good use around the, the world i mean the, the the fact that actually my um the aircon in our bedroom is leaking and i have to sleep with a bucket on my bed you know let's just put that to one side we are having some serious issues with the uh, with the teething issues with the company that installed it as well but i won't go into that on youtube um but um, yeah they are due to be coming out and rectifying it but at the moment i have a bucket on my bed um we do manage to move the bucket actually when I go to sleep, but the towel has to stay there because I woke up with a soaking wet bed the other day. But yeah, let's let's leave that to one side and focus on the positives. Uh, right, so all I'm going to do is shape these flowers and um, put that there and that there. I remember once in the office when we when we had the old aircon in the office. I was just sat at my desk and bits of ice started falling down on me, like raining down on me. So like, this is this is not this is not what I signed up to. <laughs> so I'm hoping that doesn't happen. And then I'm just shaping these leaves as well. Can you just see with my fingers, just giving those a shape? Obviously, my fingers are now absolutely filthy where I got ink all over them. But it's a sign of you've had a good crafty session, I think. So these leaves didn't show up massively on the finished piece. Um, and I think, I don't know, I'd be tempted to do another flower, but I decided not to. I decided to be constrained, which is not like me. Restrained, not like me at all. I'm normally quite, um, like, over the top. So I need, a, I need a sentiment. One of my big tips when you use watercolour cardstock is if you put white cardstock against this now, it's not going to look right because the watercolor cardstock is an off-white color. So you're gonna want, um, let me grab a piece of white cardstock to show you. Oh, that's not, mm. here we go. So this is just white cardstock. Can you see how different that is? So if you put your sentiment onto white cardstock and put that on here, it's really not gonna look, I don't think it's gonna look right. So I'm gonna grab um, a sentiment and just, I've got a scrap of um, cardstock um, the the fluid 100 watercolor card and i'm going to stamp on that one i'm just looking for the sentiment that i used the other day because i thought it really really worked and i can't for the life of me remember which stamp set it came from
Ah. This one, inked and tiled, new set. Look at these sentiments. I like these. These are at 95% as well, so they're a little bit bigger. Hello, friend. Happy birthday. Just a note and thank you. What a lovely font that is. Hey, Louisa. Nice to see you. I think actually you were on at the beginning, weren't you? Sorry, but thank you. Lovely colours. Joanna, that's a lovely set. I really want to actually use the, the flowers. I've only, I've only actually used one sentiment so far. So I've got a lot, got a bit of a way to go with using that stamp set, I think. So I am going to stamp this sentiment in grey, which I want a small block, I think. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. I like, I quite like the fact that it's um, seven by five as well, because we don't make, I don't make many seven by five cards. And um, I think they're just, they can be a little bit more special. Oh, the flowers are from Irresistible Blooms. I love this set. Again, online exclusive, could be around for three days, could be around for, I mean, three months, three years. We really just don't know. Got some lovely sentiments in itself, but I wanted this one. So thank you, just stamped in grey. I'm going to do it a little bit of a way from the right hand side because I want to cut. So it's a bit wonky, but it's okay. We're all about the wonk uh, in this group here. Embrace the wonk. So I'm just gonna cut this on the wonk so that it looks a bit straighter. And then I'm going to fishtail the end. So I'm just going to cut in through the middle. And then from corner to middle and corner to middle. Hello, Sarah. How are you? Thank you for hopping on. And then I'm just going to cut that about there. You want enough. I mean, it's you can. This is really stupid. It goes right down from wide to narrow. Come on, camera. It's been slow recently, so it goes real wide at the front but narrow at the end. But I don't think you're going to tell when it's all on here. I hope you're not, anyway. Because what we're going to do uh, is just kind of layer all that together. So the greeting's going to come kind of like that, and then your leaves are going to come out and the flowers. So it's just a case of putting it together. I'm going to start with the sentiment because then I can position everything else around it. So let's grab some dimensionals. I, I would feel remiss if I did not talk about this while I was on um, YouTube today. Look, all my dimensionals are stuck together. Um, I mean, I always say you can purchase any of these products through me through the Stampin' Up! store. But just in case anyone didn't know, for the month of June, there's a special joining offer. So um, normally in the annual catalogue, you can grab, or all year round, you can grab um, 99 for £99, £130 worth of product. But for the month of June, you can grab £154 of product for £99. And that can be any product out of the uh, clearance rack, the annual catalogue, the mini catalogue, so loads and loads of choice um, and a real great bargain. So just if you're interested, um, I want to, to kind of let you know that's available because it's such a good deal. If you are thinking of placing any orders, you'll be with be with me or with anybody else. Um, see, that's not quite straight, but you know, let's just leave that there. be that with me or anyone else. But that is an offer that's going around at the moment um, and is available for the entire month of June. So you could um, join Stamping Up, um, come and have some fun with us because we have loads of fun in our team. Um, monthly Zooms, get-togethers, team in-person team get-togethers. And um, yeah, you get a, a bonusy discount on your products as well. 
And the DSP sale, Joanna. Yes. Some gorgeous, gorgeous DSPs. I did a, a paper show, which a lot of people took part in. Thank you very much indeed. So if there's any of those that you kind of thought, oh, I really like that one, they're 15% off again in June. Um, so now would be a great time to grab those if you'd been thinking about it. Save yourself some pennies. So that's our flowers on. I've just put um, dimensions on. Um, both of those but this one's on dimensions on dimensions so it's just that little bit higher again and then these are going to go down flat just using a little bit of liquid glue I'm put one three one and one two one as in leaves one that's one leaf that's got three leaves and one leaf that's got two leaves they're going to go there, and then I'm popping a 3-1 a under here. And a 2-1 under here. I just love how versatile this stamp set is. I've used it so many times in so many different ways, and been to a class where someone used it in, again, so many different ways. Um, I just think it's really versatile. And then wait for the glue to dry. Be, be, be a little bit patient with it. And that is our finished card minus some gems. So my, my sentiments annoy me because I can see it. And I bet you wouldn't have been able to tell if I hadn't tell you it starts wide here and gets narrower. <laughs> so I've got some gems. I've got my take your pick tool. And I've just kind of gone a little bit wild with them, to be honest. just they're these lovely pastel um sequin gems i struggle with putting gems on cards sometimes but i've just thrown a load on around the bottom oh it's my absolute pleasure judy thank you joanna honestly it means the world to me i'm so pleased you like it um what am I gonna? Yeah, I might. I might give this as a giveaway. I might give this as a giveaway. So, what I'm gonna do? Because I don't actually know how to do the kind of whole comment giveaway thing. Should I learn or should I? Yeah, I think I should learn. I'll put the onus on me to learn, and I'm gonna choose someone who's commented throughout my live. And um, if you've dropped me a comment. I'm going to learn how to use the comment giveaway thingy and I'm going to pick a comment at random and send this card to somebody because I think that would be nice. Uh, you can absolutely case it, Amy. Have some fun, please. That's why I do these. I, I share because I love crafting and I want you guys to love crafting as much as I love crafting. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks, Lisa. I'm really pleased you like it. Lovely 7 by 7 You would absolutely put an insert in here as well. You wouldn't make a, a gorgeous card like this and not put an insert in it. So um, you would put a little insert in and then send that away. And it would just fit a normal 7 by 5 envelope. Um, thank you so much, Cindy. Thank you, Sue. So, yep, yeah, everybody who's commented, you'll be in with a, like, a chance to win. <gasps> Joanna Purple. I might have to make a purple one. Gorgeous grape and fresh freezer instead of berry burst and bubble bath. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. If I get time, like, I mean, not that I've got enough on my plate at the moment, but when I sit down to do some crafting work for myself and I and I finish my, this is what I'm making for myself at the moment. This is a box um, just to be completely sidetracked. And it's a magnetic closure box and I've painted the outside and the inside so it was wooden and I'm going to decorate it with all the flowers from the gorgeous flowers from the paper florist dies so a little bit of crafting just for me I will share it but you know for no real reason yeah that's that anyway thank you ever so much for joining me um I'm really grateful for you spending your Thursday evening with me or whenever you've hopped on for the replay again thank you so much indeed um I hope you've enjoyed what I create um if you would like to um, purchase any of the supplies that I've used in this project or in any of my videos as long as it's current, 
feel free to head to the links in the shop in the description below to go to my shop uh, if you'd like to join the watercolor course and learn all about watercoloring this is just one tiny little thing in so many different tips techniques and uh, lessons then please do come on down and join the watercolor course lovely for, for so one feeling oh sleep deprived bless you louise bless you bless you sarah yes you need those dyes i think resisted for now you'll see some other amazing stuff we've done them with them i'm sure they are beautiful dyes but yeah were they in the basket then out the basket haha <laughs> good to catch up with everybody yeah absolutely judy thank you and i uh, take care i will not see you next week i am working nights next week so i won't be around um but i will try and do a video and actually this time I'm going to get the sound right so it's actually audible. Um, but I will do a video, I hope, and then pop that up next Thursday evening for you guys to watch. Take care. Have a lovely evening. See you all later. And uh, yeah, enjoy the sunshine this weekend. Bye for now, guys. Bye-bye.